Good afternoon, everyone. We are the mobile application development team from North Penn High School. Every year, FBLA comes out with a new topic that the app has to be on. Uh, this year, it had to be a catalog system. Where students, teachers, and administrators can all check out, reserve books. Kolb Library is basically a way for students, teachers, and librarians to come together to use the app, check out books, make reservations. So the biggest feature is the catalog, just like you would here. Uh, you can search for a book, it comes up. All of our data actually comes from the North Penn Library. So we have the same data set, so we load in the image. Uh, you can click on it, you can see all the publisher information. When you click on it again, uh, you can reserve the book, check the book out, all the standard features. And we tried to integrate social media with the app. We were able to have students generate their own custom tweets when they're checking out a book. They can sign in via Google, which is really a universal way of signing nowadays. And we added our own under the hood security features too. The development process that we used was a scrum methodology. So basically we all come together and we talk about what we're doing, but we still have separate roles. I personally was the database administrator, so I handled a lot of the database, a lot of the data entry, querying the database. Chris handled a lot of the server side code, and Neil I handled a lot of the application code. When we got to states, you know, we kind of, we felt the competition. Ours was actually a state-only event, so this was the first time we were going to be presenting. So we were actually really nervous. We stayed up till I think 4 a.m. the night before, just keep practicing. We practiced in our hotel room a ton. We came in second place at States. Even so, we were really thrilled moving on to Nationals because we had to place in the top four to move on to Nationals. Nationals was a great experience as well. It's definitely stepped up a notch and it had been a few months since State happened, so it was certainly shocking to see all the FBLA competitors again and, and, and this time it was still more competitive. Once again, we presented. This time there was a preliminary round and a final round, so we were fortunate enough to advance to the final round. We presented again and this time there was quite a big audience. The judges asked us questions and we felt that we were well prepared. I think I was mentally preparing up on stage just for basically any any spot in the top 10. I was just excited to be up on there. And one thing I realized was I was looking around and it was like California, Cupertino where Apple is, or Silicon Valley where all these huge startups were. And I said, man, we're, we're really against these high caliber kids. This is the best of the best. And when we went to the final round, I think we were all feeling really confident, a little anxious, but we were really confident in our abilities. They finally announced the second place winners and it wasn't us. And we were all just kind of in like, disbelief. I think it was definitely relieving as much as it was exciting and thrilling. And so they hand us our award and, and we get off the stage and we're just kind of in a daze. Like we, we had no idea like how this has happened, how we'd possibly made it this far. Um, to hear Pennsylvania cheer, uh, to see North Penn in the audience, it was, it was a really great experience. 